What's going on guys? This is Garrett. This is the next video in the ACF series and in this video we're going to be going over uh, the page link field and uh, what that does for you. Um, similarly to the URL field, this is going to give you a URL that you'll be able to link to. The only difference is this one, you'll be, you're going to be able to uh, just select uh, certain posts, pages, um, any kind of post type that's on your website through WordPress. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to say um, that this is going to be um, a, a page URL. And we'll just say URL here. All right, and this is going to be a page link. All right, and um, I'll go over uh, this select multiple values in a second. But we're just gonna leave that as no for now. We already know what conditional logic does. We already know what wrapper attributes do. Um, and and we're, we're just gonna go over this. Um, so I'm gonna put that there, update the fields, come back to the home page. And this is gonna be under the YouTube tab. And I'm basically going to select a page URL and I want this to go to videos. And uh, under pages, I've already made a videos page. So back in here, I'm going to create a button that will basically allow us to go to this, to grab this page uh, link field and uh, put it in this href. So we're gonna go the field and we're going to put in the page URL. And now if we come back to this, get rid of that, uh, you'll be able to see, let's see here, that, uh, hold on, don't know where the, link went oh i don't have anything in it um go to the videos page so there's our link now if i click on this link i go straight to the videos url so that what that is giving me is just putting that url right in there so if i come back to the videos page or excuse me if i come back to the home page and i go to videos and I say, hey, I want to go to the sample page. I'm going to update that. And the sample page is just going to be the index, should be, or it might be page. Um, I think it will be page. Um, and that should just display the sample page. Um, and that has all that in there. So I'm going to go to the page.php and just put in a uh, uh, content here so we get the content we're gonna put in the title of the page we're gonna grab the header and we're gonna grab the footer and right there all right so now, if I come back to the home page and change this guy to sample page, update that, come back over here and go back to home, click on the videos page, you'll see that we have the sample page. And you can see how that can become very powerful if certain areas of your site, you wanna be able to change a link really quickly to something else on your website. Um, next bit of this sample page, or not sample page, but the next part of this page link field is the allow multiple URLs. So, or multiple values. So we're gonna say yes, we're gonna update that. And then we're going to come to pages, we're going to come to home and YouTube. And this is basically going to let, let us uh, put in a bunch of different values for this page. So now we're going to do, okay, we want to be able to go to the videos page and we want to, you know, loop through a bunch of different links basically. Um, so sample page and videos, we're going to upload that. And now the, 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 uh, the code on the, the front end changes a little bit. 
So instead of um, just being able to do this, this is only going to output one URL. This isn't going to work now. Um, so basically what this is before, this was just giving you a string that would that would populate this, this href. Now it's going to give us an array. So what we need to do is we need to say, all right, we have our URLs, which is going to be equal to the field of um, the page URL. All right, and then what we need to do is we need to loop through each one of these. So we're gonna go for each URLs as URL. We're going to loop through each one and we're going to echo out the URL like that. And we're going to end for each like that and here we're just going to say go to link because this isn't dynamic yet so we're going to update that those are all updated we're going to come down here and you can say okay go to link now you can see all right you can see down in the bottom left corner here that sample page is this link and videos is this link so you can see how that's changing there. So if we needed to loop through a bunch of different URLs, we can do that. All right, guys, that is it for this video. Uh, if you liked the video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel,